Hello. Oh, hello. Griffith says I'm smart, and that I could do anything I wanted. Though I guess he never considered I can't fly. Well, not yet. We're working yes? on that. You guys wait over here. I like magic. Maybe I'll enroll in the College of Winterhold. Griffith, what does it mean when people wear amulets of Mara? They wear Should it we to tell moving? people they want to get married. Oh, so if I wear one, will you marry me? My invisible magic sword is yours. Sorry, but I'm a little too old for you. <laughs> the trees are different in Skyrim. It takes a while to get your footing, but the real problem is the spacing. I like that. You've got the wrong house, stranger. The mill owner lives on the other side of the road. I suggest you leave. Is that so? What are you two doing here? Well, well, looks like Gilfrey's got herself a couple of dirty squatters. We aren't staying, just passing through, and we aren't looking for trouble. Who are you? A stranger, just like you. Let's keep it that way. What's with the girl? I'm her guardian. Let's just leave it at that. Put yourself in my shoes, young girl, empty house, darkly dressed man. If I was that kind of man, the girl's hands would be bound and you'd be dead. Well then. Even now I'm still not sure whether I should let you live. So choose your words carefully. Seems to me like you two are being sought after. Yeah. And what of it? The whole arrangement is suspicious. Explain yourself or I'll call the guard. Hold on. There's no need for that. It's not what you think. The girl is under my protection. And why are you serving as her guardian? I need a reason to protect a child. From what are you protecting her? She isn't yours and thus not your responsibility? Well, wow, there's no good answer for this. Why are none of these good answers? For now she is. Has to be. She's got no one else. Now. Eventually she'll come of age no longer be the girl she once was. And the only thing connecting her to her past will be me. That's when I'll say goodbye. Not a second before. Just tell me the truth. Who's after you? The Dark Brotherhood. They're after us. Her and me. What a coincidence! I'm the listener! If that were the case, I imagine I'd already be dead. Which means there are things even the listener can't hear. Or doesn't choose to. If it's the latter, then perhaps you and I aren't so different. I'm not without my morals. I need a reason to protect okay. a child. Just, we're going back to that dialogue thread? No, and we already went through that. connecting her to her past will be me. That's when I'll say goodbye. Not a second before. Why is the Dark Brotherhood after you? I killed one of their contracts. You're not just any killer. It takes one to know one. There must be more to it than that. Yeah. The Dark Brotherhood aren't just hunting a killer. They're hunting one of their own. Me. It's a long story. Not one I really care to tell. Please. All right. I see you're not going to give up until I tell you. <laughs> it worked. As I said, I was once an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood. One of the best they had. Only murder wasn't enough for me. When a target is marked, a typical assassin kills without question or remorse. The murder is efficient. A transaction. No different than going to the market. Only, I took things a little bit further. I had what you'd call a procedure. I didn't just stalk my targets. 
I approached them. I even befriended them. I needed to know the man I killed. Sounds to me like a ritual. I hate that word. Makes it sound religious or something. Uh, who pushed me? It was a procedure. A potion for the conscience. I see you there, Rumorin. The Dark Brotherhood isn't about good or evil. You'll find in this world, people want others dead for the most trivial of reasons. You're a bard who sings off-key. You're dead. Yeah. You jilted a lover by a headstone. Looked at someone the wrong way. Worm food. You can't try to justify the reasons, because the reasons are moronic. But if I got to know them, I could always find it. My reason. The apathy. Explain. The bar doesn't care about whose ears are bleeding. The lover is oblivious to the man she's betrayed. These people and their attitudes disgusted me. It needed to be purged. So I gained their trust and offered them a drink. The mead was a paralysis poison. Then I bound them and interrogated them until I found it. It was a game. I asked them to name their killer. They always assumed I was talking about me. How does the girl fit into all of this? One night we received word of a man performing the Black Sacrament in the Riften Ratway. I was to arrange a meeting with him to get information on the target. The man told me of a story of a harlot who had taken everything from him. He wanted her to know the pain and anguish she caused him. Another jilted lover, I thought. Another uncaring woman. My specialty. So I accepted the contract on behalf of the Brotherhood. Meaning you were going to kill her? Tracking her down was easy. She was staying in some old bunkhouse near the Jarl's Keep. She wasn't a harlot. She wasn't even a woman. She was just a girl. Inside her wasn't apathy. It was innocence. The child wasn't even old enough to understand love. At first I thought there was some kind of mistake. Only when I confronted the man, he confirmed her identity. The sick bastard was in love with a child. And so that night, I killed not for apathy, but for passion, and took the child from Honor Hall. Oh, no! I'm sorry, but why would you give that as an option? Oh. Why did you take her if he was dead? The Dark Brotherhood would eventually try to find her. Once the Black Sacrament has been performed, the Mark is eternally cursed by Sithis. The Sacrament demands blood. And they will not stop until the blood has been spilled. I've killed so many of my brothers and sisters. Some I even considered friends. The Dark Brother is not what it once was. Perhaps you could escape. It isn't just the Dark Brotherhood. The one who pursues me is Sithis. I broke a tenant, and in doing so, I betrayed him. Now every night, I am left to face his wrath. Does the girl know about all this? No. I've tried to keep her as far in the dark about it as I can. She's a smart girl, though. I think she's beginning to piece things together. Alright. Take care. I'll see you. <laughs> you look so uncomfortable Griffin, with all of this. What does it mean when people wear amulets and Lara? Dandelion's like, can we get out of here? To tell people they want to get married. Can we go? Oh, so if I wear one, will you marry oh, me? Oh, one second. Because is there more about the child? Yes. 
Will you at least come to my wedding? Yeah. Why not adopt the child yourself? I'll admit I have grown fond of her. Despite all this happened, she can still make me laugh. My time with her has made me rethink my purpose in life. Perhaps I wasn't meant to be a killer after all. She even has the same dark hair and pale skin like me. She'd pass as my real daughter. But what kind of father could I possibly be? A good one. Uh, maybe you're right. But there will come a time when it's safer for us to be apart. Take care. I mean, I'm glad you killed the guy who was in love with the child, frankly. A wood elf living near a sawmill. I can just see Yifri shaking her head in shame. Right? Absolutely. Well, I'm the listener. Why can't I just pardon him? I know he said it's like, oh, Sithis is the one who will haunt me. Sithis is the one who will hunt me down. But frankly, I should be able to declare some sort of pardon for him, if you ask me. Uh, hello. I once knew a country <laughs> who kept scams as a <laughs> Former looked like scams. Did I ever tell you how breathtaking I look when I'm choking a bandit? Find one, and I'll show you. Uh, okay. Let me ask you something sweet. What makes a mortal give a promise that he can't keep? Is he a dreamer, a liar, or a fool? A liar. People make false promises to comfort others or benefit themselves. A fool because dreamers and liars are both? A liar. You're right, Vetcher. A lying tongue is like a snake. A thin rope of scales that slithers down his chin and coils around his neck. I love your voice. And it's only a matter of time before it grows large enough to snap it. Or you see, I am that snake. I'm the one who makes sure that the next promise is kept. Lies can be useful tools when used properly. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's cold and you're scaring me. I think lies are more like pets. Before you know it, they've pissed on the rug. What are you, some sort of jester? Some like to hide behind humor, but I see the lawbreaker within. Oh. And some laws are more than just rules. Some laws are promises broken. You do that, Fetcher, and all of the laughs will end as screams. They call me Reigns. I keep the law and I kill anyone who defies it. In other words, Jester, I've got my eye on you. Don't disappoint me. What does this cave have to do with keeping the law? A group of guards decided to forfeit their lives by breaking their oaths to serve and turning to banditry. The Fetchers probably figured this cave would make for a good hideout. Especially after they found the secret entrance. Palma are vicious though. Worse than criminal scum. Those Oathbreakers didn't stand a chance. All they left were bones. You go on ahead. I'm terrified of Falmer. I routinely run into bandits, Falmer, and the like. You could follow me. Yeah, like running into old friends, I bet. Lawbreakers always hang out in groups. Too cowardly to go at it alone. Still, it seems we've got some things in common, sweet. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Alright, you might be worth following. But if you want to kill Falmer, first we need to find a way in. I cannot best you. <laughs> we already hear them, we can already we hear them moving? just yelling. Oh, I don't need all three of you with me right now. We've stopped. What is it? Oh, it's time for us to part ways. Is he gonna tell me where to find him next? I'll be at Half Moon Mill if you need me. Oh, perfect. I've grown rather fond of that place. Perfect. You okay? Speak. 
I don't need three people following me. Are you gonna go home now? The bow, like any stringed instrument, requires deft fingers and a steady hand. Yeah, no, go. All right. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. He's not leaving. Go! Are we heading out? Go! Is it because of the multiple follower mod? Do they just not leave? I feel like people overcomplicate multiple follower mods nowadays. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like it's just made overly complicated now. It used to be just like, oh yeah, no other UIs added, no other menus added, just simple, straightforward, they follow you, and that's it. But I had to reset the mod, have them refollow me, Danilin finally went home. So now we're good, now we're fine. But it, <laughs> it's such a pain. I had to get a mod that I knew would be compatible with interesting NPCs, and we do have that. We do have uh, AFT, which is compatible. Or at least has a compatibility patch. But even then, it's not perfect, and I had to navigate the menus and use all that stuff just to get it. To allow me to dismiss him. Once I reset him, he finally left my service. But I remember back when I first played interesting NPCs back in the classic version of Skyrim, before Special Edition was even a thing. It really was just as simple as downloaded a super, super bare-bones mod. Didn't have any menus, didn't have anything, and things worked pretty goddamn smoothly. I guess we just had to overcomplicate things for Special Edition, huh? What was that? Yeah, that's a Falmer. Oh, you're just gonna punch him? Yeah, you just tried to punch him. Great idea, sir. Real smart of you. Reigns, get him. You got this, Reigns. I believe in you. Thank you. I thought that beast would be the end of me. No, Lawmaker. I am the end of you. Help me! Do something! I'm watching. That is something. Die. Pathetic. The boy nearly died of shock before my blades managed to drink him. I was going to let him live, but thought better of it. He was too frail. He would have made for a poor witness. Now, where should we hunt next? There are more lawbreakers where this one came from. I'm not going anywhere with you. That was uncalled for. Uh, we should bury the body first. Out of respect. Why? Did he respect the lives that he took? The uniform he wore? Ignored the body. Even the worms are too good for him. Alright. <laughs> well, is there any place in particular you want to check for bounties? Let's try the bee and bar. Lots of criminal scum and the rift. Say we grab a thief and break his legs. Leave him in the market for the crows to feast on. The rest will scatter into the sewers like rats. Alright. Off we go. Remember, when in doubt, aim for the crotch. the coin you've come to the right place so is it what you imagined well, let's let's follow him i think he's on a mission he's a man on a mission he's walking with conviction you've been in riften for quite some time it? now lady Mule. this town is ripe with the lawbreakers what leads can you offer? Now is not the time for it. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. It looks like we have new prey to catch. This one is an especially loathsome lawbreaker. What exactly did he do? Ah, Kwama. This one is better served as a surprise. It's a bit gruesome. 
which will make it all the more sweeter when he screams. He was last seen in East March, but a fetcher on the run doesn't stay at the Kando Heart Hall. There's an old inn to the west of that place. A hundred gold crown says that's where he'll be. You want a drink? Hey, Taylor. Just get, get off out of here. Get lazy tail and take care of the customer. Oh, look, Rimmerin's cooking for Keep us. Your scales How on. lovely. Also, I don't know why he has normal arrows. Aha, Those are normal arrows Lord. with his. <laughs> with his. Bringing the fight to the Empire. With his bow. You see that, right? Wait, a fine day Mule, to you, why don't you have. You die with a sword in your hands. Why don't you have your normal your sword? Your allegiance lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Never seen me all this upset about anything. Oh, hi, Fiona. The city really yes. gets to her. I didn't expect to see you here. What? Did you think I would spend the rest of my days in that cavern? You never know. Uh, well, yes, the cave would have made a perfect underground lair. What are your plans now? I'm taking a break from adventuring. But I'll be out there again when I need the coin. For now, I'm enjoying this city. Anything about Riften that you found noteworthy? I didn't know they had a Temple of Mara here. But I bet a lot of young couples fall victim to the atmosphere. The waterfront views are nice, and the market is a nice place to relax and enjoy the weather. There's no one here that I fancy, though. Too many fishermen with skinny legs. And while Riften is beautiful, I think I need a little more sun. Perhaps I'll head south to Cyrodiil, and maybe just... Keep going. All right. I'll see you. So we are headed to the Night Gate Inn. Let's track down this uh, lawbreaker. Some say Rumarin is a feminine name, but I'm not a girl. I just fight like one. Amen. Same here, brother. What is it now? Now, Reigns, don't murder anyone immediately, okay? Reigns, okay, there he is, there he is. Oh, he's already, he's already moving. Nope, he's following me. Never mind. Hey, you, you got any fugitives here? The room? Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging. Heard any rumors lately? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Yeah, we got magic. There's a lot of magic. You never know. Anything you need, just holler. I'm looking for people. I'm looking for fugitives. Well, Reigns? No one ever died down here. Definitely nobody was ever murdered down here. Wasn't me, I swear. But you're going for it. Is your name Griffith? Uh-oh. Who wants to know? Uh-oh. Your gods, Lawbreaker. Pray to them for mercy when I carve out your flesh. I let me see you try. No! Out of the way, child. Your guardian is a killer. It might not expect to lick his throat. He's not a killer. He's my father. Morgan. Tell him. Tell him my pa's not a killer. Well, what of it? Do you know this little Kwama? Why does she vouch for this killer? It's complimented. Griffith is an honorable man and her guardian. So if the murderer has a child, it grants him the liberty to kill. Your words are nonsense, Fetcher. They crumble before they leave your lips. This ugly son of the Guar, my knives will drink him fast, then slow. Nope, 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 nope. You're gonna need a bigger bandage to cover up that ogre you call a face. Stop it! Stop fighting! You promised you would only kill the monsters, like Gabonia. Wait. That name. Where did you hear it? It's the monster who hurt him. Griffith only kills monsters. 
Quiet, kid. It's nobody's business but ours. It's too late now, Zwit. Better to come clean. This man, Gabania. How do you know his name? I just do. So you say. But the hate in your eyes, I know it well. You hunt this man. What? Okay, I was worried he was just gonna go upstairs and leave. Seven months ago, one of my witnesses told me of a wagon full of contraband that was being delivered to Solitude. I tracked it down, ambushed the carriage, and held the driver for questioning. The man was well trained. The wheels of the wagon could have rusted with blood before he spoke. But I knew his cargo would speak for him. I thought it was Skuma. What I found were slaves. Their tongues were cut out, so they could not speak. It was wishful thinking to think that they could write, but I asked anyway. And then, that's when one of them, no more than a child, pointed to a name scrawled on the boards in blood. Gavania. Right, Fetcher. That's him. Your prey is my prey. Yeah. So what does that make us? It doesn't make us friends with it. But I will say this. The bounty in my hand is for a child killer. And so long as this girl lives, perhaps it's the Jarl who's mistaken. But I have my eye on you. Don't think for a second our business is over. I wouldn't dream of it. You've been awfully quiet. I wasn't sure what to think of this. You're bringing this maniac here. Well, I didn't know he was trying to kill I can you. Tell he's not with the Brotherhood, though. But that won't guarantee Morgan's safety. You mentioned a lead on Gabania? Yeah. Might be something, might be nothing. Whispers mostly. When it comes to that name, I've been trained to listen. What about Morgan? That's what I've been thinking about. I can't leave her alone, and I can't bring her with me. And if it's one or the other, him or her, it will always be her. I think it was good for you to be honest with Morgan about your past. I didn't expect you to tell Morgan. That's a bit heavy for a child to hear. Ah, eh, you're the only person she has. I feel like you guys can bond over what's happened. It wasn't something I wanted to do. But I had to. Because of where my head was at, I couldn't trust my own decisions. You know why I have to do this. Why I can't let him live. But she didn't. And as she always does, the girl asked why. So I told her. And if my needs ever made her feel unsafe to let me know. That's another reason Gabania has to die. I can't protect Morgan like this. Not when all I see are the faces from that day. Okay, I feel like we missed a very crucial part of you Griffith's dialogue from before. Like to start interrogating. What do you know? Shut your mouth and I'll tell you when I... As a drifter, you get near shot of all sorts of crazy rumors. You hear the same one enough, and you start paying attention. The one I heard was about a rich baron using the war as a way to gain influence with the new Jarls, or the weakened ones. Turns out, the whole plan wasn't going too well, and our baron was more than a bit agitated. So he decided to get on his ship and sell to Windhelm. That ship is now docked at the harbor. And so what? You and the girl are going to raid that ship by yourself. A wealthy baron can buy a lot of cell swords. Or if he's smart, a few good ones. You're afraid of Merc's elf? Because I'll go through a thousand cell swords to kill that bastard. You may not be, Fitcher, but I imagine the child is. I can tell this man means more to you than he does to me. But someone has to stay. Rumor in. Oh, rumor in. I've thought of that. But I don't trust anyone to protect her but me. <laughs> He's like, then we have a problem, of this. Sweet. 
You can't be in two places at once. Unless you have a better idea, I will protect the child. Not a chance. There's gotta be another way. What do you think? <sighs> Sounds like it'll take a group effort to make any headway on that ship. You mentioned Morgan has some magical skill. Can she defend herself? Uh, Rain should stay with Morgan. He's not gonna hurt a child. That's the thing. That's his whole, like, ethical code, is he only hurts the wrongdoers, and she's not a wrongdoer. No. Absolutely not. Are you sure you aren't letting your anger affect you? <sighs> You're right. Maybe I'm not thinking clearly on this either. If that's what's best for Morgan, then okay. Honestly, I was going to suggest you stay. But then that would leave me with him. It wouldn't be pretty. So what's the plan? Gabonia is too paranoid to leave a ship. It's likely to ask people to deliver to him. But don't get any ideas. I'm not wearing a noble's clothes. What I'm saying is we'll have to sneak our way past the guards. Either that or muscle our way in. Hi, Morgan. Morgan. I'm going to be gone for a little while. Like we talked about. Don't worry, Pa. I'll be okay. Hugo get the bad monster. It'll just be for a little while, I promise. If anyone comes near, stay behind the elf. I don't like him. That makes two of us, kid. But he'll keep you safe. Alright, I'll do my best. Good girl. The child will be safe, Enma. But the same can't be said for you. Good luck. Yeah. Now, the reason I'm excited for this is we already know about Gabania. We learned about Gabania and everything he was doing from Anam La. Because her and the what? Honorable Eight, way, way back in the day, would not intentionally mess with Gabania, but he was one of many people that they worked against because he was just always up to no good. He was always up to some bad stuff. Alright, so travel to his ship in Windhelm. Well, I think it's safe to say I found the ship. It's honestly quite easy to have uh, located it. Not sure how they're going to get out of here without crashing into the other ships, frankly, but... It's not really our problem, since we're about to kill him anyway. Now we need to get aboard. Griffith? Griffith? Oh, there you are. Well, we found it. Yeah. Take care. So yeah, let's sneak on board. Let's get on board quietly. It's not going to last for very, very long. But if we can get in... <laughs> you just hear all of them singing. If we can find a hidden way in, that would be ideal. Maybe I can climb up the anchor or something. I actually don't think there's any other way in. I don't see any other way on aside from just the staircase. Who are you attacking? Who is that? Oh, he came down here already. Okay. Well, we're going in loud. Where's Griffith? Where were you? Where had you been? I'm glad the guards aren't upset with us. I'm glad the guards don't care at all. And, ooh, nice hit. Good hit. Wait, did one of the guards help? I don't think so, but I don't know where that arrow came from. Probably from Rumor, but the angle looked like it came from the docks. The way these ships are designed, the captain's quarters are on the lower deck. 
We'll probably have to fight our way down. Well, there was only one way in. I checked. Hello? Gabonia. Adam Law says hello. Hello! Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, it wasn't letting me shout. Let me shout. Let me shout! I can take you. Why is it not letting me shout? Come on, game. Oh, great. Yeah, I get one. One word. Oh. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. I'm not? Need something? <laughs> yes. And you'll be dead. Yep. We're Griffith, you gotta come down here if you're gonna say stuff like that. Take that, Boston! You gotta be down here if you're gonna threaten people. You can't just threaten people and leave it up to me. And stab. Perfect. Down goes the bear. Griffith, get in here. I told you, idiots, I didn't want to be disturbed. It was 20 years ago. There was a small town in Cyrodiil that blended into the countryside. My father always joked it was too small to be on any map. And when the visitors came by, they felt like explorers, discovering the town for the first time. But for me, it was the only place that felt like home. Yet after that day, I realized the whole thing was just a ruse. You made those maps, and you never put our town there for a reason. Of course it would be you. So you do remember. <laughs> Don't be absurd. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are, and I know what you are not. In my time, I have challenged Jarls and Kings, armies and empires, I've been targeted by everyone from the Brotherhood to the remnants of the old Morag Dong. I challenged the gods themselves, and neither Daedric Prince nor the Makers of the Realm could fell me. Of course it was you, boy. The others were not so foolish, nor were they as brave. I've waited my entire life for this moment. As have I, boy. Don't disappoint me now. Oh, and you closed his eyes for him. I should have figured he wouldn't remember. They never do. He remembered. Maybe not you, but all the poor villagers he's hurt. And he didn't care. I guess if he did, he'd be more like me. A man. Not a monster. In any case, let's get back to the inn. Morgan might get fidgety without me there. Ruben, you're just along for the ride, aren't you? You're just like, yep, yeah, alright, whatever you say. Just here to do spellcaster things. Why didn't we have the uh, living Draugr help protect, frankly? He knows how to swing Ebony around. He can help out. Wait, who are you and why do you have a sword? Full time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. What do you want? Nope, never mind. The Dark Brotherhood. What happened? I did not sanction this. I did not sanction Nothing. this. Just one of your murderer friends stopping by to say hello. It wasn't long before I had to say goodbye. Morgan, are you alright? I'm fine. Uncle Rains was mean to the monster, but I think he's really just shy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Looks like she's gonna be okay. 
I believe you own Reigns. You owe Reigns an apology. I wouldn't go that far. I owe him one. That will have to do. As for you, here, I took these from a summoner I was contracted to kill. They've served me well. I hope they help you on your journeys. Ooh! Your gauntlets! What will you do now? Keep wandering. Maybe head back to the old mill. It's probably best we stay clear of Windhelm. And each other. That goes for your friend as well. Unless he wants to try to collect on that bounty. What bounty, Fidger? The Jarl doesn't put a price on the head of brooding fathers. But there may come a time when the girl won't be around to save you. Then we'll meet again. I'll be waiting. Did I ever tell you how breathtaking we did good work taking care of Cabana? Lawbreakers from here to Cyrodiil would know they are unsafe. Was it difficult protecting Morrigan? Not at all. The assassin was distracted. For only one of us had a stake in the child's life. Well... I'll, I'll count that as your sensitive side, protecting children. Speak. Wait, one of your ancestors was Khajiit? Where did that come from? Dunmer females are harlots. Looser than a Debellin priest. I'm surprised I wasn't born with scales. You ever hear of Alberin's eye on Theris? Uh... There is a reason they call that tavern in Riften. The bee in the bar. Yeah... Which is precisely why I love Dunmer females. I've had my fair share, Fetcher. Never saw what all the fuss was about. Until I tried the other half. Oh, boy. In any case, I don't hold it against them. Azura is strong in her females. And Azura gets what she wants. That's, uh, one their way to put it. Their desire for flesh is like a cat's desire to steal. But only one violates the law. Not all Khajiit are thieves, just most of them. It sounds like you resent your own heritage. You blind scream. Last time I checked, I didn't have any fur on my back. Just on my blades. If you say so. Well, it's time for us to part ways. But I'm sure I'll see you again. Your loss. Now, is he actually going to leave properly? Or is he going to keep on following me because... It's hard to tell if the moon's gonna work. women in the tavern. Oh. But the female form is soft like pulp. I prefer things with an edge. Alright, you do that. Let's see. If I go outside and he's still following me, then we know that it's still wonky. Oh no, he stayed! Hey, rumor in high five! Yes? High five. I oh, know, follow me. But he's already following me. Let's go. Right? So, what's the plan? Yeah, he's still following me. You know what they say, timing is all about something or other. <laughs> oh, never change, Rumorin. Never change.